in switch b also we can create 3 vlan 10 20 and 30 in switch b 20 can be assigned as root bridge and 10 and 30 can be assigned as non root bridge in switch c we can assign configure terminal here we can give spanning tree mode pair vlan spanning tree here we can enable the pair vlan spanning tree plus so the syntax for enabling pair vlan spanning tree is spanning tree space mode space pair vlan spanning tree plus okay here we can give vlan 30 can be assigned as root bridge so we can give primary command next 10 and 20 can be assigned as non root bridge we can give vlan 10 root secondary spanning tree vlan 20 root secondary exit okay now the spanning tree can be enabled switch a switch b switch c in switch a vlan 10 can be assigned as root bridge and switch b vlan 20 can be assigned as root bridge and switch c vlan 30 can be assigned as root bridge okay now we can check here we cannot receive any updates because we can create vlan 10 20 and 30 it is an untagged frame so here we can use sorry it is an tag frame so here we can give trunk port to enable the trunk port so first of all go to the switch configure terminal interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to 2 here we can give switch port mode trunk ok exit because vlan 1 is an untag frame so without trunk port it automatically enables but vlan 20 10 20 and 30 can be an tag frame so using trunk port only can be updated to the next switch the bridge protocol data units can be sent to the neighboring switch otherwise it cannot be updating first it is 0 slash 2 here we can give switch port mode trunk exit okay in switch a in switch a vlan 10 so in vlan 10 the in vlan 10 is a root bridge so we fast ethernet fast ethernet 0 slash switch a fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is an designated port designated port here in switch b in switch b fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is an root bridge sorry root port in switch c fast ethernet 0 slash is an root port here we can see the fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 here we can check the mac address switch c mac address is 00 d0 switch b mac address is 005 so least one is here uh, switch b so fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is an designated port fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is an designated designated port here we can see fast ethernet fast ethernet 0 0 slash 1 is an blocking port this is switch a in vlan 10 in vlan 10 so in vlan 10 switch a is root bridge so the switch it is a root bridge means it all connected port is designated port so fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 so both are designated port here switch b can be connected to the root bridge so that port fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port and switch c can be connected to the switch a so fast ethernet 0 slash 2 that port also root port in switch c so remaining fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 in these two ports one port can be blocking so depends upon the mac address only it can be blocking so when compared to the mac address of switch b and switch c so switch b mac address is least one so fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a designated port so the blocking port is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 now we can write switch b in switch b vlan 
ट्वेंटी हियर स्विच बी फास्ट इथर्नर जीरो स्लैश वन एंड फास्ट इथर्नर जीरो स्लैश टू सो बोथ आर डेजिग्नेटेड पोर्ट नेक्स्ट स्विच ए हियर फास्ट इथर्नर जीरो स्लैश वन कैन बी कनेक्टेड टू दि रूट ब्रिज स्विच बी सो फास्ट इथर्नर जीरो स्लैश वन इज एन रूट पोर्ट एंड स्विच सी Fast Ethernet zero slash one can be connected to the root bridge. So fast Ethernet zero slash one can be assigned as a root port. So fast Ethernet zero slash two and fast Ethernet zero slash two. So in these two ports, one port can be blocked depends upon the MAC address. So the MAC address of switch A is zero zero D zero here. Here also zero zero D zero. Next, next started by we can compare B B A. Eight E. Here we can see B, B eight B. Here eight. So switch A is least one. So fast Ethernet zero slash two is an designated state. And fast Ethernet switch C fast Ethernet zero slash two is blocking state. Okay.